on to Bryant. Welcome to Module 2 of the Baby Sign Language Basics online learning series. Today, we're going to be learning signs for food and meal times. And we're also going to be learning some strategies for getting your baby's attention so that they'll see your signs better. One of the chief complaints I get from parents in my classes is that their babies won't pay attention to them when they're signing. They find that their baby's eyes are all over the place and don't tend to focus on one thing for very long. For example, if you're showing your baby a sign and she just looks at you for a split second and then moves on to the next thing, it isn't because she wasn't interested in what you were showing her, it's probably just because she's got it in that split second and now she's ready to move on to the next thing. Let's say, for example, that you take your baby on a trip to the zoo. You're looking forward to seeing his reaction when you take him to see the giraffes. But when you get there and you try to sign giraffe to him, he seems more interested in looking at somebody's discarded gum wrapper over there on the ground. So you might feel discouraged and like that was kind of a waste of time to even bother trying to sign giraffe to your son. But then maybe a couple of weeks later, you're looking at a book together with animals and suddenly you see your son's hand shoot up in the sign for giraffe. And sure enough, there's a giraffe on the page. So even though your baby didn't seem to be paying attention at the zoo that day, it was in there. A short attention span is typical in babies and toddlers, but the good news is that babies don't need to pay attention the way we do. They're such little sponges that they seem to just absorb things effortlessly. Having said all that, there are some strategies you can use to get your baby to look at you a little more when you're signing. You can pick up an object and make a noise with it, for example, keys, and then put them down and do the sign right next to the object. Keys. Keys. Or you can make the object a part of the sign. For example, take the ball and sign ball with the ball in your hands. You could do the same thing with a banana. Instead of signing banana on your finger like this, you can sign it on the banana. Another thing you can do is just quietly watch your baby without saying a word and wait for them to make eye contact. Then when they do, you can just sign about whatever they're doing. For example, you have your book. Is that your kitty book? And then just keep looking at them. And after a while, they're going to have that feeling that someone's watching them and they're going to look at you like, what are you looking at? And when they do look at you, you can sign about whatever they're doing then. Oh, you have your ball. Is that your ball? Ball. If you look at your baby like this, they'll actually tend to keep checking in with you and looking at you more than if you are actually calling their name. Tapping or stroking your baby is another thing you can try to get their attention. For example, giving their cheek a little stroke or giving their shoulder a tap and then showing them the sign. You can also try signing in front of your baby or on your baby's body. For example, if I was reading a story or playing with toys with my baby, I could put my baby in my lap and then what will happen if we push this button? Oh, what's that? That's a bear like you, bear. What about this one? Oh, that's the lion. Rawr, lion. And what about that one? Hey, there's the monkey. As you can see, I'm signing right on my bear's body. <laughs> and let's see, how about in here? There's the elephant. Woo! There, I'm signing in front of his face. Elephant. And what about this one? <gasps> Giraffe. That one's also in front of his face. So that works really well. And your baby doesn't have to actually be able to see the sign in its normal context. They can feel how it's being done on their body and they'll have plenty of other opportunities to see you doing the sign uh, the way it's meant to be done at other opportunities. Today's mealtime signs are apple, banana, Cookie. It's like you're cutting out a cookie with a cookie cutter. Cracker. Cereal. It's the milk dripping down your chin. Cheese. This represents pressing the cheese curds through the cheesecloth like they used to have to do in the olden days. Cheese. Drink. Finished. It's like you have something in your hands, but you're all done with it, so you're throwing it away. Fruit. This is the American Sign Language letter F. You put it by the corner of your mouth and twist it, like you're twisting the stem off of a cherry that's in your mouth. Juice. You just make a J in the air for juice. Or some people do the J in the air and then drink. 
Meat, you pinch the meaty part of your hand. Milk, open and close your hand like you're milking a cow. More, tap your fingertips and your thumbs together. More. Vegetable, you make a V for vegetable and you twist it by the corner of your mouth. Vegetable. Potato. One hand represents the potato and the other represents a fork you're sticking in to see if the potato is ready. Potato. Water. You make an American Sign Language W with your one hand and it just taps your chin twice. Water. Water. Which, as in which one do you want? Which. The sign you'll probably find yourself using the most frequently, especially initially, is the sign for milk. Sometimes people ask me, is there a different sign for cow milk versus breast milk versus formula? There really isn't. You just use the sign for milk. It doesn't matter if daddy's pouring milk on his cereal, or you're nursing your baby, or if grandma's giving a bottle, you just can use the same sign, milk. Mealtime really is the ideal time for signing with your baby. Your baby's a captive audience because they're seated in the high chair and you're sitting right across from them so it's the perfect arrangement for making eye contact and signing. Initially, when you first start using signs at mealtime, you'll probably just stick to the signs for eat, milk, more, drink, and finished. As your baby gets older and begins to have more variety in their diet and begins to have some favorite foods, you can add additional food signs as you feel ready. When signing with your baby at mealtime, it's a good idea to start by saying, it's time to have some food. Do you want to eat? The sign for eat and food are both the same. Give your baby a little bite of cereal or whatever it is you're feeding, and then pause a moment, putting the bowl out of reach of your baby, and say, do you want more food? Do you want more? And then give your baby a little bit more. Every now and then, between bites, Ask your baby again if they want more, and then give a little more. How and when you do the sign for more will vary from meal to meal. For example, if your baby is absolutely ravenous and crying from hunger, you may have to give them a few bites before you pause and ask them if they want more. However, for them to understand what the sign more means, they do actually have to be feeling a keen longing for more, so don't wait till they're already full before you say, do you want more? Every now and then during the meal, be sure to remember to offer your baby a drink or some water and then give him a drink out of his sippy cup. After a while, when you notice your baby starting to lose interest in eating, you can say, are you well done? Or are you well finished? And then take him out of his high chair and clean him up. Besides meal times, there are lots of other opportunities you can find throughout the day to use food signs. For example, you can sign eat or food when you're feeding the dog or the cat or when you're feeding ducks or even fish at a pond in the park. Or you can sign apple or carrot when you're feeding them to a horsey when you go for a walk in the country. You can also sign about all the food as you're shopping in the supermarket. Be careful though, I always found when I did this with my son, he thought that I meant he could eat the food right then and there, including whole cobs of raw corn. You can make regular mealtime signing more fun by doing some creative playful things. For example, you could bring baby's teddy bear to the table and then pretend to feed the bear some of baby's food. Here, bear wants to eat some of your food. Mmm, the bear's eating your food. He's eating. Yummy, bear's having food. Your baby will think that's really funny. To learn food signs most effectively, you really do need to use real food with your baby. Some older toddlers might enjoy playing with some plastic food like this. That can be fun, but for littler babies, they won't really get the point of that, so try to use real food and real experiences to get the best results. Another fun way to practice food signs with your baby is to read stories that include food. I like this one, The Big Blue Bowl by Dawn Prochovnik, published by Magic Wagon, a division of Apto Publishing. Let's read a couple of pages. Duck piles beans into our big blue bowl. They are the hardiest beans you ever did see. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, I say, and my friend Duck fills it up with me. Dog rolls 
peas into our big blue bowl. They are the tiniest peas you ever did see. The peas are on the beans in our big blue bowl. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, I say, and my friend dog fills it up with me. Now it's time for our song. Today we're gonna sing, I'd Like a Banana which comes from the Songs for Little Hands Music CD and Activity Guide that I co-created with my sister, award-winning singer and songwriter Susan Z. I'd like a banana, banana, banana. I'd like a banana, mommy may I please. Now I'd like some milk, some milk, some milk. Now I'd like some milk, mommy may I please? I would like a cracker, a cracker, a cracker. I would like a cracker, mommy may I please? Thank you for the cracker and milk and banana. Now I think I'm finished, thanks for all of these. All done, yay! This week, try to get in the habit of using food and mealtime signs whenever you feed your baby or your pets or whenever you see pictures of food or people eating. This concludes Lesson 2 of the Baby Sign Language Basics online learning series. Thanks for watching!